Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. Last time we left off, we started this and beat it. Amazing, right? Anyway, I felt like doing this again, even though it's really... I find it really easy. So, what we're gonna do is start off here, and since we unlocked a new character, why not we try it out Maggie? That's... Uh, I'm not even gonna act like I know how to pronounce that, because I'm an idiot. You're an idiot! Anyway, Maggie starts off with one extra heart container, which is nice. And then she also starts out with the Yum Heart, which will give us one heart container whenever we use it. She's a little weak off the bat, but she's a great character in my opinion. She she just excels in most. She doesn't start with anything, but her stats are pretty pretty good. Not not as good as other characters, but way better than most. Just because of her starting item, it's great. It is absolutely great. And let's see how far we can get on this. And we get the plopper peeper. <laughs> yeah. And this is a weird item. It, as you can see, the eye bounces around. It's sick, right? And we get this cool little facial scar. But it increases damage in our left. Uh, hold on. Left eye. And it's kind of weird because it kind of gives you half a damage up. Kind of, maybe, and oh, holy crap, Peeper Man, doing wonders. Ah, I do not like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, and this is Larry Jr. By the way, I don't know if I said it in the last video, but I I just recorded the first one because uh oh tears up. Why not? Wire coat hanger. Yes, we stick a wire coat through our head and we get we get more tears because you know. When you stick a wire coat hanger through your head, you cry. And when you cry, you do more damage. Right? That's a correlation. Am I getting something wrong? Maybe. Maybe. Probably. Yes. Yes, I'm getting something wrong. Because if you stick a wire coat hanger through your head, you're probably going to die. And, ooh, we got a bomb, so might as well blow up this tinted rock. And we get two spirit hearts. Starting off really well. Got a good item so far. Got two keys so we can visit the item room. And put out that fire as fast as you can because you do not want flaming hoppers. Because these guys are dicks. Like, not even joking. These guys suck. Get a room filled with those things. You do not want to play this game anymore. And I got a third key. I don't really need it. I need bombs, man. It's kind of weird because I don't usually need bombs. I, I'm usually scrapped for keys because the game has a way of trolling me. And let's see what's in our item room, and we get the Odd Mushroom. There's two versions of the Odd Mushroom. One is a smaller, thinner version, but this is the uh, this is the part that makes you do more damage and gives you one extra heart contain. Oh, that was lucky. I don't I don't even remember if there's a downside of it. I think your hitbox is larger, and that's about it. So I guess that's a kind of bad, I guess, but. Don't be a pansy. Let's fully explore this room because I am a perfectionist and I like doing that. And oh god. Oh god. So many so many dodges. And we get a troll bomb. Yeah, thank god. If it wasn't for that, I'd be boned. And these are gishes, I think. That's what they're called. But pretty easy. They only shoot in diagonals, so. Yeah, pretty simple. And I wish we had a bomb, because I'm pretty sure the secret room was at the bottom of that last room. I got this stretch! I'm stretching! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Okay. And we are facing... Ooh. Oh god. I'm sorry I didn't get to show off uh, Yum Heart. Unless I show it off in this fight. Which is probably like... Oh, yep. It's probably gonna be like... Oh, Jesus Christ! I don't like this at all. Okay, let's take out... The pony first. This is the Hellas Horseman, as you can, as you read. Question mark. Red. And we took out the head first, which I usually don't do. This, this guy is more annoying with his freaking bomb to death. A little Chad has appeared in the basement. Smoochy, smoochy. Anyway, that's what the Yum Heart does. And this is a pony. And it allows you to fly. It, it also has a spacebar item, which I never use, so. Space bar item use early useless, but it allows you to fly, so it's good to pick up. 
And a hero font gives you two spear hearts for no cost, and it's pretty good. Pretty good. And why not I demonstrate this? I miss. Anyway, it just it's pretty much a galleon charge towards the enemy. And usually I'd have to use two bombs to get to that, but not with the pony. And I can't believe I took damage there. Stupid damage. as fast as possible since it's kind of annoying and I don't really care about it. And we get a key. Useful. Yes. Let's hurt that fire because orange fire can actually shoot projectiles at you. Kind of annoying, yes, but... Well, while we're here, we might as well fight our boss, which is Maggie versus Pestilence. Oh, not cool boss. I do not like this boss at all. Mostly because of that. He has a way of being a total douche naga. Ah oh, yes, Peeper doing a massive amounts of damage right there. Can this guy like stop? Send all these bombs my way? Like, kind of dickish man. Oh, now he just sends out flies. Wow, shooting out those bombs. And with this boss and three other bosses that we have yet to run into, uh, they give us the same item, but Yes, the same item, but it does upgrade as you get more. And I'll let you guys see it as when we get it. The Book of Revelations has appeared in the basement. Oh, we're so lucky. And we got a cube of meat. Yes, right now it just hovers around us and all that. And this is a deal with the angel. Uh, I can't believe we get so lucky. We got the dead dove, which give us this horrifying face but what it allows you to do is allows you to fly and gives you spectral shots so you can shoot through walls and stuff like that so if we found something that would improve be better than our pony we could easily replace it since the pony is now utterly useless to us besides the charge which I never use except here and it didn't even kill anything so there you go and we get virus yes the virus let us continue on our journey of uh, amazing of epic adventures on our pony on the gallant field field of men i wonder if we should pop into this shop i don't think we will since i have seven cents i don't really want to you can you can hope that stuff's on sale and we'll you know oh there goes that projectile firing douche you can hope for a sale but in, right now the keys just isn't worth it in my opinion because I got three keys and like eight floors to go so I want to keep the keys as long as possible and let's just kill everything like Christ I need damage man top priority damage since we already got flying I don't really need that I got flying twice actually, so. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh god, I didn't kill him one cycle. I hate you. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well. Anyway, good floor. Good floor, guys. Good floor. And I. Uh, why not check for the secret room right here? Ah, shit. And I think this. Secret room should be right here. Yeah, that's what I like to. Ooh, that's a great item. Well, it's not really a great item. It's just a good item. It is the one up. Cause why not, really? So if we die, we can have another shot at it. Cause you know, why not? Kind of useless. Not really useless. It's quite beneficial actually. And we shall head on down to the next floor, which is the Caves 2. And the burp. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've been talking too long. It's not my fault, god dang it! I saw that coming too. I was like, oh no. Play by play of what went wrong. Let's see what's in our item room. And we get the PhD. Very interesting item indeed. As it gives you full health, which is nice. And it identifies any pills you have, you acquire, really. And it 
as a bonus effect, it turns all negative effects into positive effects. So if it were like, let's say, a range down pill, instead it'd be a range up pill, and you'd be like, oh yeah, I'm totally lucky. No, you just have the PhD, you dingus. And I do not like this room. Too many flies, and too many, too much death. I don't like you. I don't like you. I lost like two spirit hearts right here. Kind of lame. Eh, but we gained one in the process. Nah, not too shabby. Let's see if we can bomb ourselves into the liquor room. No, not there. You think it's... Okay. Oh. Oh, I, well, why did I just do that? And let's just wait. Yep. Okay. Draw bombs. Hardly beneficial to the to society as a whole. And I gotta love them. Oh, now I can use the PhD in action. As you can see, it's question mark, question mark, question mark. And now it is... Now it is... Now it is. You're, you're making me... Bombs of keys. Not a very good pill in my opinion. And we get roid rage again. Fire some roid rage. Didn't we get that on the last run? Of, or growth hormones or something like... I don't even know. I just did that video like... How long is this video? Oh. I did that video 12 minutes ago. I still don't remember. And then had a pretty lengthy ending. Kind of weird. I don't like these guys. They kind of... Uh, uh, oh god dang it. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. We're, we're fine. We're fine. I don't like you. I do not like these guys. These guys are kind of dickish. But just you wait until you see their friends. Because they have some pretty dickish friends. And when I say friends, I mean... Worse versions. And we have enough for... Yes! Eh, not what I would like, but eh, why not? We have enough to go to the shop, so why don't we stop on by? I like my character model so far. Uh, a dude with a blonde wig with a red bow and white coat sticking out of him with a PhD mask, and he looks pretty mad. And we get the steam sale, which is great because it puts everything half off. I, I hate everything. Okay, well, we're gonna use our bomb we just bought to blow up this tinted rock and we get one spirit heart which was totally not worth it in my opinion two bombs for a spirit heart but at least we got the steam sale right 50% off everything so uh, sorry I just had something in my throat and I was like ugh you're gonna sound like crap girl I mean girl uh Oh god, I thought I was almost going to take damage there. I'm sorry. I'm not really... I'm not really sure about my chances since I'm... I'm doing subpar damage right now because... I'm kind of doing decent damage. But that's only because of my one eye. Shooting blood. Still. Tears. Come on. And with those red turret things, you can, uh, easily just kill them because... Oh, speed uphill, that's kind of useless because I don't need speed right now, but... With those red turrets, you can easily just kill them from far range since they take damage whether they're below or not. Golden key, that would have been useful a while back, but... Oh well, what's done is done. Let's finish off this floor with, uh... Eh, pretty easy floor layout. Ugh, I thought I was gonna get both of them, but I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. And we get a heart. And the moon card, which I will use next floor, because it teleports you instantly to the secret room. It's always nice, because secret rooms are good. And it saves you bombs, which I do not have. So we're gonna keep that, and then do something with it. And our boss is Peep. And I really wish I had a bomb right now. Oh, I almost ran into that. I would use that bombs are key. Okay. I would use that bombs are key pill, but <laughs> I'd rather have keys than bombs, because, you know, freaking 
freaking itemers are so damn useful. And if we stay above these rocks, we can pretty much not take it. Uh, okay. We can pretty much just be an idiot and take all this damage. Because we're not staying outside the rocks. Because, you know, who needs to take... Who doesn't need to take damage? I don't. Obvi wait. Not the proper word usage. I don't even know. I don't even care. I'm not an English student. Or good at it, for any matter. And Peep is now dead. And we get the box! Which gives us a whole bunch of crap we probably don't need. The hero font. Okay, we kind of needed that. And since we now have a bomb, we can now... Rest the key. I don't know what that does. I don't know what this does, but let's find out. Range up! That's kind of useful. I won't turn a gift down. A small rock has appeared in the basement. I don't know what that means. But we get a... Spirit heart. And I need to crack my knuckle. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. I don't like this room, but we'll stay in it nonetheless. What is this pill? Tears up. Why not? And let's use our moon cards. See. Oh, okay. 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 I don't like you. You're kind of annoying. I was promised a freaking item or at least some cash. No, all I get is you. And I don't even like you. You're kind of dickish, actually. And he gives me... Nothing. And here's the dickish cousins of those head things. No, why they're dickish? Because they have, like, long necks that fly out, oh, and I just ran into fire. Fire's not good, children. Don't play fire. Obviously. I'm trying to destroy this fire, because it might give us some useful stuff, you know? But with the problem with spectral tears is you never are allowed to have fun. You can't destroy poop as fast as you would like. And if we just stand out here, we should be perfectly fine. And since we're fine, we do not get hurt by creep, which is a great benefit. I still can't believe I haven't got rid of this pony yet. Oh, well. I hate these guys. I hate these. I hate you so much! Ah, oh, god dang it, I still get hurt! What is this madness? They don't even care about rocks! They just go! I hate you. Alright, what? Safety cap. Utterly useless. Portable slot machine. Even more useless. Is it as useless as the pony right now? Probably not, actually. Safety cap, rusty key, safety cap, rusty key, safety cap. Eh, let's go with the safety cap. I think it, I think it increases pill chances. Which is good since we have the PhD. I love the PhD. It's my mother. It's my brother. And I love it. I can't believe I just ran into that. I was even concentrating on this room too. I'm sorry. I have a tendency to stop talking. You know why? Because this game is important to me. I take this game very seriously. As you can tell. By my serious voice. I'm sorry. I'll never do that again. But I don't care, really. Oh, okay. I haven't... I'm pretty sure I've said this. Oh, well. well. That is, uh, Mom's Pearl. Oh, I don't even remember what that does. So, uh, crap. Crap, I don't need- I- I did- Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. I do not like this room. You are all gay. I do not like- Do not like you, Mr. Fetus, baby. Yes, these are fetuses, I think. Don't take my word on that. Oh, well, I do not like this room. You know I have flying, I do not like these guys. At all. Yep. I hate these guys so much. Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo, almost got hit there. And we get a penny for our troubles. Totally useful. Probably will win a Nobel Prize thanks to that. These guys just roll around in the set path until you disturb their path, and then they find a new path to like ants pretty much and we get a key for our trouble still I don't know why I'm blowing through keys so much ah I got one more item room two more item rooms actually and why not I don't 
don't like you. Wow. I got my exact trade-off back. Trade-off back. Okay, I got my exact trade on that. I do not like flies. They are annoying. And let's see what's in our item room. A skeleton key. Now I never have to worry about key worries. I wish I did more damage. Well, that's one thing down. That was totally useless. I'm really... I really wish I would've got something a little bit more useful off that Hellish Horseman. But, eh. Oh well. What are you gonna do about it? People would kill to have the freaking pony right now. Well, I don't know how many people are playing this game right now, so I don't really know. I wonder how many run-on sentences I use at a time in these episodes. Because it's like... I just talk for hours and hours and hours and I never stop talking because I'm a faggot. And, oh, I do not like you. So I'm gonna just stand over here because I do not like you. I do not like you, so you're going to die now. I do not like zombies, I'm sorry, but I don't. And we get the Emperor card. <laughs> uh... I sh I'm not going to use that for a little bit, because I might use it on a later floor, because, yeah, it teleports you straight to the boss, which, in essence, might sound bad, but it could be useful in some certain, cons and just what I needed, a possibility of another flying item, and I outspeed you, Mr. Fallen, oh, I'm not going to get hit by you, though. Oh, I almost ran into that. This boss is pretty easy. He takes a little bit used to. This is where it gets crazy, though. When he spawns two of himself. Because once, once they both start doing that, that's just annoying as hell. You don't want to watch for that guy. Ah, oh, I got hit. I can't believe I... Oh, oh god, I got hit. Twice. I'm such a baddie. I hate everything. I gotta go for you. I'm pretty sure that was not something more English. Ah, ah, ha, ha, dodging 101. <gasps> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, my prayers have been answered. My prayers. This is Brimstone. I look like another badass. And guess what? I shoot lasers. Yes. This game, this might end up in a success. So what these guys do, I do as well. Maybe not as fast, but... However, I gotta tell you one thing. When it comes to this item, do not pick... There's an item that looks like chocolate milk. And you know why? Because it's chocolate milk. Do not pick up that item when you have this item, or else you will regret it. And you will never be able to be happy ever again. You know why? Because it makes your charge infinite. I don't know if they ever fix that. They probably did, now that I think about it. Because why wouldn't they fix it? It'd be almost stupid not to fix it. Oh. Well, I'm really... I'm still doing pretty crappy damage, actually. Even though it's still brimstone, and still kind of doing... Eh, why not? And red patch, probably not worth it at all. I do not like these levers. Probably my least favorite enemy in the game. Uh, with a close second being those zombies, guys. Zombie knights. Ah, I do not like this. Tears upgrades are useful for this because it increases the charge rate of it. Oh god, this cannot be good. Oh, maybe. Uh, oh yeah, this is good. Red Patch or Safety Cap? Let's let's just go with Red Patch because when you get hit you have sometimes the ability to increase your damage for the entire room. It, it doesn't pop up much but it pops up when it need be, when it need it. So it's, a, it's always a good item in my books. I got took up a little bit. Three hits. Oh now these guys are douchebags. I don't care what anyone says. You cannot shoot the mask, you can only shoot uh, the hearts. 
Oh, and that's kind of useful. Early useful. So we're gonna just take the bomb. Whatever this is, the magician. Early useless. So we might as well pop that. And pick up our emperor card and let's get out from this useless shop. Even though I bought three of the five things in there. Anyway, how have you guys been doing? I always resort to that when I run out of things to say, but I don't really know what that means when I run out of things to say, because I never truly run out of things to say. I just, say, I just kind of, ah, I can't believe I ran out of things. I kind of just go with, go with it, you know? And I, I'm not sure if I'm just doing more damage. Oh, I did more damage that, that room, because Red Patch popped. You can't tell, because my body, you might have, might have, could have told, told, you might have could have told that it worked because my pony disappeared. And let's see what's in our item room. And it's the log. I really wish I didn't blow up that thing now. It inc increases our health a lot, but at the cost of what? Our very lives? Our very well-being? No, just a couple pounds. That sack of crap. Yes, I'm talking to you, Jimmy. Hit the gym, faggot. <laughs> uh, to anyone watching out there that's a little bit on the hefty side that is named Jimmy, I apologize. That was uh, directed towards you. On purpose, actually, but I do not know you. Nor do I think I know a Jimmy. Do not like you, greedheads. Oh, go away, go away. Nobody even likes you. Oh, and this room just fell a disaster. I wish those guys would do damage to themselves, but green does not hurt green. Because magic and butterflies. This is Envy, one of the seven deadly sins. Pretty easy, right? Except he breaks him apart into those things, and it's kind of annoying, and I do not like him. And I do not like this charge, because I sometimes let go of it too early. Right now, Envy is kind of a you know, pushover. Really easy. I mean, got hit. And he gives me nothing! What a useful card. And I was not going to be using my Emperor card just yet. Because there's there's later floors where I can use it. You may be asking, But Sean! Uh, but Raglion! Sorry. Uh, on the last video, you only went to this blah 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 room. Well, yes, that is true. And I am not doing it enough damage to make anything worthwhile when you beat mom foot for the first time you essentially get another extra level to do extra two levels and it's pretty pretty fun pretty fun it's called the wound kind of do not like this too much stuff time to do some crowd Control while smacking some hoes out. Okay, I haven't been doing damage completely, so... Did I just get hit by that? It's kind of hard to believe. I need more damage. Ugh. It's taking way too long because I don't have any real good damaging items. I think the only real damage upgrade I've got was uh, Lopper. And we get dog food. So, just another HP upgrade. I wish we'd run into the Devil Room, but welcome to the womb. It just... Your damage here is... Instead of ha half a heart is a is now a what's it called a full heart. So instead of losing that, so the stakes are much higher here in the womb. It's a little crappy. Yes, I know, but that's life, right? And it's a Gemini a boss we have yet to encounter, but he's a pushover, as you can tell. He's a little harder in when you don't have anything, but. Right now he's kind of a douche. And we get Temperance, which is the Blood Bank, which I do not want to play right now. Nor ever. And of course that hits me. And of course that hits me. 
Oh god, I'm getting hit way too much already. I already lost a lot of my spirit hearts, but now nah, well. I could use my emerald card right here, which might be really useful. But I want to wait until the next floor. Just take out the fetuses one by one. Ow. And there you go. It should be easy now. Let's hope I'm picking the right direction. That is what I call an imitation faggot. Really? I just kind of stayed above it. I do not like this. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. And there's no health on the screen. It kind of worries me a little bit. Will my first fail be in this video? Yes, probably. I'm not too confident on my Isaac abilities quite yet. Ah, uh, chub. He's a pushover. Uh, especially when you have flying and blackstone. But drops a heart, which is nice. I like it. And there's an angel fetus in this room, which I do not like because angel fetus is bad. Nobody likes them. We found the boss, and there's no other reason to be here. And we get Skolex. Really easy boss. Probably the easiest boss you could be fighting. All you have to do is hit that end of his tail and you should be fine. This is literally the boss. And I missed that. He comes out now and then to do that and I missed. Yeah, come on, Skolex, stop. This is taking way longer than it should be. And I just... I, uh, it's like I don't want to win. And there you go, I get mom's coin. Move the cloud! Anyway, we get mom's coin purse, which is tears up. That's useful. Uh, bombs and keys, I don't really need that much. Keys, uh... Actually, why not? We could use 99 bombs instead. And I'll leave my little puff cloud way and this is what I've been saving the Emperor card for for mom's hearts look at all that distance I would have had to have to travel and I didn't even know where it was it's been a while since I fought mom's heart cuz I, I won't spoil it but later on this boss transforms into something a little bit more intense you know I can't believe I got hit by that. I can't believe I got hit by that. Going a little bit slow thanks to my... Thanks to my brimstone. But, eh, I can't, can't look a gift in the face and say, You suck! I should probably time my shots so I can get like that kind of. Oh, I do not like you. He dropped a pill, but I can't go look at it. Or can I? Tears up. I could use that right now. Yes, that was necessary in the middle of the fight because tears up means better fire rate. While not the most damaging run, quite the useful run indeed. And oh, I probably should wait. Anyway, this tears up is already working in my favor, as you can tell. Popping out way more bombs. I mean, the blast of death. And as you can see, once mom's heart gets towards a certain spot, it starts popping out death bombs right out of something. I don't know where it comes out of, but yeah, not going to question it really. As you can 
tell, this part is pretty much easy because you can do constant damage on mobs. Hard now. And a cross has appeared in the basement. You have unlocked Judas. Anyway, thank you for watching. And, I would, and we unlock one item. I don't know what it is yet, but thank you for watching The Binding of Isaac. And we have a fez! Yep. Anyway, thank you for watching The Binding of Isaac. I am Roxanne's. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to watch some more. 35 minutes for one video. Not bad, not bad. I need some water. I've been talking for like an hour straight. Well, pe some people who know me might be all like, Hi! You're funny because you, you do that like every day. Yeah, well, I don't appreciate that, man. It hurts sometimes. It hurts. Here. But yes, that is the Binding of Isaac on for uh, Mag. Or Maggie. Call it Maggie. So, we are watching the credits again, but we have beaten Mom's Hots. And I forget what secret we found. We found the Book of Belial. But yes, we'll probably be working with Judas in the next episode. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.